Housekeeping. That sound like a Mr. Joe Holland. Housekeeping. Come on in, Hoss. <laughs> First of all, we're over in Pittston, it's a small town on the Kennebec River in Maine. Uh, this is Baker Brothers Smelt Camps, one of the oldest around. People have been smelting in Maine for generations. Start off with, it's a cheap way to enjoy the winter if you get cabin fever. Um, you come down this shack, I think it was 70 bucks for tide. Tide is six hours, that includes your bait and firewood whatever else you got small wood stoves in the back keeps us plenty warm you guys still plenty warm yep so to start off with you come in you got house lines on either side you got race holes down on the bottom they use giant saws to cut them out chainsaws sometimes and you got one on that side too <clears throat> you got these house lines here and all these do is just unwrap them there's a big weight that's probably three four ounce weight and underneath that, you have a snelled hook. Just a small little hook. Give you a size comparison. And all you do is you take a blood worm or a sand worm, cut them up into very small pieces, about that size. And what you want to do, just thread them on the hook as good as you can get it. Because these fish will strip you. And then after that, you just lower it down. Try not to get it tangled in anything. Lower it down to whatever depth you want to go at, and you're fishing. And the reason they give you so many is because we're fishing probably 25 to 27 foot of water right now because the tide's incoming. So the reason we have so many house lines is you can set each one at different depths. And whichever one, produces the most, then you can start lowering them all down to that depth or raising them up. And there you go. Hopefully they're running good. Beautiful. So that's uh, that's smelting in a nutshell. And if you guys would, click on that like button and uh, subscribe to Joe Holland Fishing. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, bud. <laughs> Thanks for the plug. <laughs> guys, I got my first smelt in over 20 years. There it is right there. First river smelt. And what you have to do, or you lose all the good luck, is you've got to bite that thing's head off and you got to spit it at the guy next to you. That's just a rule up here. We've been doing it for years, and we even do it pike fishing sometimes. So here we go. <laughs> there it is. First smelt of the year for me. So hey, Paul's, Paul's going to do it. If I'm supposed to do this, let me see. Which way do I want to spit it? It's for luck. You there can spit it at me. It gives the guy luck punch. next to you. <laughs> It's a sign of endearment. All right, here we go. Ooh, crunchy. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> Larry, let's see what your first smell looks like. See, it's that color. There it is. It's that color. So what do you do? Bite the head off and Bite spit it to the guy to the left? Yep, spit it to the guy next to you. And you make him jump? Yep, and it gives you good luck the rest of the night. Will he fit through the hole there? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like he couldn't even put it in the bucket. Look at the poor bastard's gills are flying. Oh, he popped off. And this is all schools of smelt right here. Coming through between 18 and 22 feet. Right now, they're mostly 18 to 20 feet, and we've we've had this whole screen just filled with uh, smell. I mean, for as many as they're there, they're not hitting like they should. And now we're a little bit deeper, right? Tell the folks. Oh how yeah. We started. started at it at basically 21 feet, and now we're fluctuating to wow, you know, right there at 27. Well, actually. What's happening now, my battery is almost dead. So, uh... Looks like the bottom's at 24. Yeah, bottom's almost 24. But so we're getting... There's there's it a is. thick school. The bright, the bright red, red is a very sugar. thick school. Of awesome. Fish. And there's your transducer in the hole, right? Yep, right there. And this is your phone. And there's the phone. So pretty cool. Yeah, oh, there's a... Look at a pyre. Yeah. Boy, we haven't seen, you know, eight eight feet off the bottom. We haven't seen that. 
And what are you working on over here on your right? You got a camera? Oh yeah, we had we tried using the AquaView, okay, but um, the problem is the current. The current just uh, takes it and it it's gone. Show us what kind of screen, what kind of view you get with that. Pretty good. This this is the new revolution, micro revolution. It's pretty uh, pretty good. Yeah, I like that. That's the little micro. Yep. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, we got one. Oh, oh we got one. Have. Oh. oh. What Great. you working on over there at the wood stove? Uh, we got some uh, we got some marinated venison flank steak, some onions and peppers, and I just threw some teriyaki venison on the grill over here. We're having ourselves some good eats oh, at the oh, smelt shack. Oh. Here, let me see those. Where are those potatoes? Dustin, show us what you're working with there. Oh, man. That is deer tenderloin from a deer that I shot back in the fall. First deer I've ever shot only. It took me 36 years. <laughs> Tastes all the better, right? Yeah. That is delicious. It's unreal. So we have no drinking, no promises, no smoking. <laughs> it's got it all. This is a nice little checklist here. 100 and 40s, 106. Yeah, it's a main tradition. Sure is. Oh. So, look at this, folks. Man. The other tradition. And remember, you can't get there from here. <laughs> we got some venison and rabbit food. <laughs>
Well, that's it, folks. Smelting in Maine. Another freaking great day on the in Maine in the winter. What do that's you guys it. think? Yeah. What it's about. We uh we caught quite a few pike bait. We're gonna eat some and use some for bait and just have an overall great time fishing with friends. Made some new friends tonight. Had a great time. Thanks fishing. You too.